Today we're going to take a look at a Caesar Gurney game gun and find out how well it'll work for upland bird hunting. Let's take a look. Drew Liske here with Orion Outdoors Company, and today I have a Caesar Gurney Woodlander 20 gauge field gun in my hands. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this field gun from Caesar Gurney, uh, kind of see what features the field gun has uh, that are gonna make it a good bird hunting gun, and then take it for a couple shots and then see what we think of the gun as a whole. I'm gonna start off with the rear part of the stock. Uh, this game gun has a wood butt pad. Uh, in terms of aesthetics, it's a very nice looking, very pleasing uh, butt pad to have on a gun. Uh, for hunting and, and use in the field, it's going to make it so that it slides up effortlessly on our shoulder. Uh, when it comes to like competition use, uh, a rubber is usually more traditional, uh, but for the purpose of a game gun, it's a really sleek, uh, really professionally fit wood pad uh, for the Season of Greeny Woodlander. Uh, we've got a Turkish walnut stock, we've got some nice checkering. Uh, with a semi-rounded, like Prince of Wales style grip, uh, which feels really nice in your hand. Uh, the Woodlander is Caesar Greeny's base model field gun. Uh, so it's got a traditional, uh, simple case color hardened receiver, uh, which looks real nice. On the bottom, we have a woodcock in gold inlaid uh, with a little bit of texture. It looks like it's kind of flying uh, within a prairie. Uh, very nice, very simple, very elegant. Oh, we got the Caesar Greeny logo on the trigger tang. And then the case colored hardened finish is very consistent throughout the gun. Uh, very, very classy look. Uh, the Caesar Greeny Woodlander has a uh, tang safety uh, mounted on the top of the receiver here. And then a opening lever. Opens nice and smooth. In terms of you know, the operation of this gun, you get a, a really polished, uh, elegant feeling gun in your hands. Uh, it features pretty much all of the uh, engineering uh, technology and mechanics of like a Caesar Greeny uh, sporting clays gun. Uh, so you've got a really, really strong, robust box lock action here in their game gun. Uh, this is a 20 gauge bore barrel on a 20 gauge frame. Caesar Greeny offers 12 gauge frames and they make a 20 gauge frame which can accommodate 20 gauge, 28 gauge and 410 bore all on the same receiver. Moving forward, uh, we've got a nice rib. It's a six millimeter uh, parallel ventilated top rib uh, with a solid mid rib, kind of traditional of, of a game gun. Uh, has a really nice weight in general. As a whole, uh, this gun weighed in at six pounds, four ounces, uh, which is a really nice weight to carry in the field uh, for long points of time. It is a all steel receiver, uh, so you don't you know, lose any of the, the strength uh, that you would see in like an alloy receiver gun. Though Greeny does make some alloy receiver lightweight versions, uh, the Woodlander is an all steel body gun. Next, let's chat about the ergonomics, you know, how this gun feels. Uh, in my opinion, a game gun should feel really nice in your hand. Uh, I mean, all guns should, whether it's sporting or for field use. Uh, but it's very important to me to have a nice feeling gun. By that, I mean the gun weighs and balances well, so it's comfortable to carry, but also that it points nice and smooth and Personally, I prefer a gun that kind of points like a target gun. Uh, this Caesar Greeny Woodlander definitely fits the bill when it comes to pointability and ergonomics. Uh, it has you know, all the features in terms of balance, uh, weight balance, a composition that you'd want out of a sporting clays gun, uh, but it's you know, field size, field's weight. Comes up nice and smooth. You know, it's not barrel heavy, it's not stock heavy. Balance is really right at the hinge pin, which is nice, maybe just a little bit forward of the hinge pin but a very, very well balanced gun. Different ways to make it uh, balance differently. If you kind of prefer a barrel heavy or a stock heavy gun, you can always put weights in the stock and you can always mess with the choke tubes at the end of the gun, you know, to go for a titanium to take weight out of the end, or you can go with a heavier steel extended choke to add weight to the end of the gun. Just all in all, I feel like the, the Caesar Greeny game guns, you know, you can tell that they have experience uh, in the sporting clays market uh, because they kind of take all the same attributes of their sporting guns, uh, take out some weight savings uh, in terms of the, the shaping and the size of the stock, uh, but they're keeping all those performance features when it comes to you know the nice schnabel forend. 
uh, the high performance barrels, the, the chrome uh, plated finish inside of the barrels to make sure uh, that the gun's going to last you forever and it's not going to rust. You can also see here, and this is going back a little bit on the details of the, the manufacturing of the gun, uh, but we have a Damascus style engraving on the barrel flats, which are going to help to keep grease. So it's a feature that is you know, more functional in use, but it has such a nice look as well. With all my reviews, I like to give you some pros and some cons. Uh, for this particular review, I'll give you three pros, uh, which are the, the three biggest pros, I think, of a Caesar Greeny in general, especially when it comes to a game gun. Number one is the mechanics of this gun. In terms of how it's built, it's very, very hard to find, if, if, if you can find, a game gun that's built stronger than the Caesar Greeny at this price point. The Caesar Greeny guns are you know, as strong as any gun out there, in my opinion. Uh, whether you're using this for game or for clay target shooting, you're never going to wear out a Caesar Greeny game gun. You know, you're looking at 30, 40,000 rounds before you even need to service this gun, uh, which is kind of unheard of when it comes to a game gun, especially in you know, the, the four to six thousand dollar price point. Number two in terms of pros, I would say, is the looks of the Caesar Greeny game guns. They have a lot of options. Uh, this Woodlander is their base model, and I think it's you know, a very nice looking, very sexy, very elegant game gun. No one else out there has the, the quantity and the range of engraving of wood than Caesar Greeny. You know, they've got five or six different models. You know, some of them super, super elaborate, uh, and some of them rather simple to kind of, you know, go for everyone's personal preferences when it comes to looks. Uh, they've got a lot of options, and it's hard to beat the looks of a Caesar Greeny game gun. And number three, so we mentioned the looks, we mentioned uh, the mechanics. Number three is the ergonomics and the feel. Uh, this gun has a lot going for it when it comes to how it handles, how it balances, and how it feels. Uh, coming from a sporting clays background, kind of particular on how my guns balance and how they point. Uh, this one points really well, handles really well, it's easy to shoot. If you're coming from a sporting clays background or you're coming from a hunting background, I don't think you're going to be missing because you have a greedy game gun. Uh, if anything, it's going to make you a better shot. Now we'll kind of go into a couple cons. Uh, no review is, is left on right if there's not a con on the gun. Uh, so I will mention two. There's really only two that I can think of. Number one uh, is that the Caesar Greeny uh, is not known for having you know, the world's best trigger. Uh, the Caesar Greeny triggers are good. Uh, they're respectable. Uh, they're not bad by any means, uh, but they're not the best. Uh, they could have some improvements. I think that if they came out with a trigger that you know, was a little bit more improved, they probably have the best game gun you could buy. Uh, but that's definitely not the case, unfortunately. I mean, it's got a good trigger. There's nothing wrong with the trigger. It's inertia. Uh, there's, there's not a lot of take up, uh, but it's not the best feeling trigger. And number two, I've only seen a couple issues with this, is the gold finishes on some of the, the birds, some of the triggers, have a propensity to, to wear off a little bit, especially if you're not maintaining your Caesar Greeny very well. You want to make sure that after you use it, uh, you're wiping the receiver clean and in keeping the acid, you know, acidic hands, sweat, bug spray, etc., off of the finish on the receiver. Uh, you probably last forever and you'll never see uh, any degrading in the receiver if you do that. Uh, but, you know, a lot of guys are really harsh on their game guns. And if you're not being careful and cleaning and maintaining your greeny game gun and it has some gold, uh, you may see some of that gold uh, rub off or patina as, you, as the gun ages because of those reasons. Thank you for watching this review of the Caesar Greeny Woodlander. Uh, we hope you enjoy our content. We really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked this video. Uh, we also have lots of social media channels that you can follow. Uh, they'll be uh, detailed in the description. Uh, we post a lot of cool pictures, a lot of cool reviews, and have a lot of custom and bespoke projects that you just might want to see online. Uh, thank you very much again, and I hope you have a great day.